Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. The Honorable Member for Nalolo. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Um, I must, from the onset, say that I unreservedly support this motion. Madam Speaker, um, first of all, I'd like to say that motions that come to this House uh, can be futuristic motions. They are not motions that need implementation of the executive immediately, but they can be futuristic. And from this call, Madam Speaker, um, we must reach a stage in this house where we do not uh, politicize development. Because when, you, when we look at this motion, education has been made free from grade 1 to 12. So that means the uptake level of pupils to university has dramatically increased. That, th that is why we are now trying to put desks in schools. So this dramatic increase in uptake to university level cause for the rethinking process of how we can increase access or, or, of uh, higher education. I'll give an example of my own constituents. I have 42 primary schools, three secondary schools, and Western Province has zero university. As I stand here, Madam Speaker, I have over 25 students that I am supporting from Nalolo in various private universities. And I can mention some of those universities. There's Blessings University, Mosa University, Supershine University. Now, Madam Speaker, uh, when you look at this, 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 um, this, this motion, uh, it, it, it's, it's non-controversial, and I would like the minister to look at it from uh, finding a way of probably reforming the operations of the higher education and loans board. This is to integrate private sector intervention. So this, this honorable minister, as you report, I feel you must consider it in the sense that it can be driven by the private sector because we are talking about private universities. But to say it's a useless motion, it's not, it's not correct, Madam Speaker, because you see, the, the minister announced last, last year 81,838 uh, had made it from grade 12 out of 121,871. And we had figures that out of 10,000 who applied at university, about 2,000 were accepted on this uh, loan uh, scheme. So, Madam Speaker, this, uh, this motion really can be looked at at different angles. The angle I choose to look at it is that it gives the executive an opportunity to look forthwith in the direction of how can we access, uh, uh, increase access to higher education using private sector intervention? And this is a loan scheme. We need a proper loan scheme that can integrate other uh, students who are not getting the opportunity to, to, to get into university. I perfectly understand that the reason why um, this loan scheme is not catering for other universities is because the recovery rate is low Graduates who, which government should be recovering, are not employed. Not all of them are employed. And I know some who are still unemployed. Therefore, it's a two-edged sword. When we look at um, a government financing, direct government uh, treasury financing towards this uh, um, uh, loan scheme at university level, it's, 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 it's something that can be looked at. However, I would like to look at it from that we need private sector intervention because I can guarantee you that the good news that we are free education, which we support, we support that intervention from government, comes with it the consequence of having these people to graduate and go to access higher education. We cannot say we have made free education for people to be artisans and so forth. Uh, there are people who should drive the formal sector as well. Therefore, I support this motion and would like to encourage the government to look at it from a position where they can find a way of beginning a discourse, a discussion 
with the private sector on reforming the operations of the higher education board. Uh, I don't know if I'm the only one who's experiencing an issue where I have a lot of uh, people from the constituency who are finding it difficult to access uh, higher education. So if it is all of us, we must be sincere. Uh, the time of PF is gone. It's the United Party for National Development Power. Continuous reference to PF for me is, cannot be a benchmark. Yeah. It, of course, there can be a sporadic reference, but we must move forward and find a way of uniting this country by developing policies that will stand the test of time. Yeah. Obviously, Madam Speaker, in supporting this motion, I would like to conclude by saying that it is a non-controversial motion. There are many ways of looking at this motion other than thinking of Treasury. We understand uh, that this country was grappling with unsustainable debt levels. We understand that. But let us look in a direction of where, how do we begin the discussion of increasing access, increased access to higher education. I submit, Madam Speaker. Yeah. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.